This is The Lord is One, and this is actually going to be the last video I do on Mormon theology, with the next video is going to be on archaeology instead. And then we're also, after that, going to cover some other topics as well. Um, but this one, I thought I'd share a quote from one of the more modern um, prophets in Mormonism. Um, so, and this is from President Hinckley. So, according to the LDS Church Newsweek, um, they quoted Hinckley as responding to people outside the church who say that they don't believe in the traditional Christ. He said, he said in response, No, I don't. The traditional Christ of whom they speak is not the Christ of whom I speak. For the Christ of whom I speak is, has been revealed in the disparation of the fullness of times. He, together with the Father, appeared to the boy Joseph Smith in the year 1820, and when Joseph left the groove that day, he knew more about the nature of God than all the learned ministers and, go and the gospel of that ages. Which is a really surprising statement, by the way. He seems to be essentially saying that Joseph Smith knew more about Jesus than pretty much anyone else in history. He knew more about it than the gospel authors, um, knew more about it than Paul. And that does seem to be a very surprising statement. He's also suggesting that, despite the fact, for example, that John says that he gave an accurate picture of Jesus so that you may believe in John's gospel towards the end. Um, apparently, John didn't give a sufficient picture of Jesus even though he said he did. And so, this is a very surprising quote, and it does confirm that the Mormon view of Jesus is very different um, than the Christian view of Jesus. Which, you know, again, raises a question I think that we'll ask in, in a few, a little bit down the road, which is, do Mormons worship the same, or are should they be considered Christians? And in many ways, as we've seen throughout this theology... We've seen how much they differ from the Christian view. They believe in multiple gods. They deny the Trinity. Um, they appear they don't believe in the same Jesus. Um, they believe that spirits are eternal. They believe that God was once a man. And countless other things that are completely foreign, not only to Christianity, but also to Judaism as well and to pretty much mo all other of the monotheistic faiths that sprung out of Judaism as well. Mormonism seems to be very unique in many regards. And thus, not only am I hesitant, not only hesitant, but I would deny that Mormons are Christian based on their theology, which is, think, is one of the most important things to ask the question of why are, are, they, are they Christian. But just their views and and I don't and everything else and I'm not only hesitant to call them Christian I'm hesitant um, to call them even Abrahamic to say that they follow the God of Abraham or at least believe in any type of God that is similar to that I mean um, they disagree on the most basic elements they deny that God is even singular, though, that God is eternal. They deny that, that God has always been God. They deny that there's only one God. And they deny that God is the first and the last. And here, they don't even believe in the same Jesus. So, are Mormons Christian? I don't think so, but if anyone has any comments to tell me why they think they are or not, let me know in the comments section. Thank you, and God bless.